my blood wash. <laughs> Alright, yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another Boku no Roblox video. It's your boy Days back at it again here in the game that actually made us who we are today. So you might be wondering why I'm making this video since I've already made a video about this before or like one year ago actually. I've made a video about this quirk which is my favorite quirk. None other than cremation itself. I'm making a video about this quirk again and it's because of mainly one reason. I actually think that not a lot of people appreciate this uh, rare quirk because you know it kind of lacks uh damage i guess and you know it's just a rare quirk and people mostly go for the legendary quirks such as explosion half hot half cold one for all and so on and so forth today i'm gonna be showcasing you guys my favorite rare quirk which is cremation and i'm gonna show you guys why it is my favorite rare quirk but before that i'm gonna equip the dobby armor and i forgot how it goes this one the dobby's arm guard it increases uh cremation's move sets it's actually really good for a rare quirk to have an armor like that because it's gonna improve your damage since you know rare quirks don't do that much damage sometimes a rare quirk can even be a lot better than freaking legendary quirk or even a mythical quirk i'm not sure it all just really depends on how the user uses their specific quirk but yeah i'm gonna be showing you guys my favorite quirk which is cremation i'm gonna showcase you guys the skills and if you guys are bored here in uh, boku no roblox or if you're just starting off in the game and you don't have that much cash and you're aiming for uh, at least a decent quirk i guess not a legendary quirk you might want to grab cremation because cremation is actually also really really good for farming here in uh, boku no roblox it does continuous damage having continuous damage quirks uh, allows you to you know farm in the gym because if you're in the gym every one hit gives you xp actually and i can't show that because i'm already max level which is level 15k and if you do continuous damage to these things right here if you hit this punching bag right here uh, it gives you it, it actually gives you xp so if you deal a ton of damage to uh punching bags continuously then you're gonna gain a ton of xp so let me show you guys so if i have a uh, letter z if i use my letter z skill of cremation boom see that it deals continuous damage 9000 9000 9000 9000 and i think i can even use it here in the middle or some of my skills here in the middle boom see it does continuous damage to all of it so you're gonna gain like a ton of xp if you're around i don't know level 1500 i guess if you have some of the skills so in my opinion this quirk is actually one of the most underrated quirks ever for farming and i think pvp as well but i don't think it can do well in pvp situations since this quirk kind of lacks some of the range skills but but i think some people can make it work like i've heard a few uh uh leaderboard players here in Aboken Roblox when they PvP they use cremation. I don't know. I just heard that there's like a top global. I just heard that there's like a leaderboard player who uses cremation as well. Uh, I forgot the name. If you're if you're watching this video, uh please comment down below. Oh see that? You can even hit all of it using the Z skill if you're standing here in the middle. That's one tip I recommend you guys doing if you're if you're still low level, around level 500. Uh using that technique can be really really good for uh leveling up so boom See that? It deals continuous damage and you can even do it here as well. Oh, that move does only uh, burst damage so it doesn't do continuous damage. So you can maybe do this. Use the C there, C skill, and then you can use C here. So you can like farm really, really fast and level up really, 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 fa really, really fast. But I don't think that's going to work on level 1000 players since, you know, it requires a ton of XP already if you're around level 1000 already. But it's for all those uh, level 500, those below level 1000, I guess. So the skills of this cremation is actually quite simple. There's not too much into it. And that's what makes this quirk really, really underrated because it's really, really easy to use. You don't need that much skill to use this. So the first skill is actually Q and it's just some random fire blast. It deals a decent amount of damage and I even one shot uh, the cremation user himself. <laughs> but yeah, the first skill is just a random uh, fire blast. Boom. It looks really, really cool. I really like the effects of cremation. The next skill is the Z skill, which is the flamethrower. And this flamethrower is actually uh, looking really, really cool. 
as you can see it's so flashy like i don't know why there's something with this uh cremation effects i really really love how the cremation uh looks like here in this game and i don't think any other game can be better than uh Boku no roblox's cremation oh well maybe well maybe some games uh, that i haven't seen but i don't know i just really really like cremation because of its effects and some of the moves so this is the flamethrower it does continuous damage that's why it's really really good for raids and for the gym as well the next one is the x skill which is a burst damage type of skill it reminds me of explosion a lot but it's just a blue flame boom it does a burst damage so i think that's gonna be really good for pvp it even gives you a cool uh, diving effect if you use it so let's wait for our cooldown look at the animation of that boom <laughs> your character literally dives on the floor if you're gonna use that x skill that's why it looks really goofy as well but it does a decent amount of damage so it's okay the next one is the c skill one of the most beautiful skills here in boku no roblox and maybe one of the reasons why i fell in love with this quirk that crown of crown flame thing looks really really cool and look at that it just looks so beautiful it screams oh uh, I don't know how it screams. It screams Dobby. It literally screams Dobby effects. Look at that. We both use that. Oh my god, it looks so beautiful. I, I think it does a decent amount of damage as well if you stay inside the, the crown thing. It does continuous damage, so it won't do that much damage if you, you know, just walk on it once. And then that's why your opponent has to be inside the crown, so you can deal a ton of damage to them. So the next one is actually the last skill of cremation. And yeah, we're already on the last skill because cremation is just a rare quirk but i i don't understand how it's only a rare quirk when it can actually be a legendary quirk but yeah the last skill is this one the v skill which is the tornado thing boom look at that look how that looks that's so freaking beautiful <laughs> It's literally a flame uh, tornado, but I don't really like that skill that much. My favorite part about this skill is actually the C skill. Boom. That uh, flame crown thingy. The last skill is this one, the tornado. And there's one thing I don't like about this move. I don't really like how it makes your character stop moving. It's gonna be really, really bad for raids because, you know, the NPCs can start attacking you when using that skill. And I don't think that's gonna be really, really good for PvP as well because, you know, if you don't hit your opponent with that skill, then you won't be able to block because if you're using that skill, then you can't block. It's like you're casting something. That's why I think uh, changing that move would be good for uh, cremation, but I don't think the Boku Roblox developers will do that soon. So, Boku Roblox developers, if you're watching this, I hope you, you know, change some of cremation's moves to make it a lot better add some more uh add some more burst type moves because i think this would be a really really good legendary quirk if you know if you revamp it a little bit and i think it, it can even compete with uh, legendary quirks but yeah that's pretty much all the moves of cremation it's really really cool and the main thing why i like this quirk and why i love this quirk so much it's my favorite quirk is because of i just mentioned it earlier it's because of the effects it looks really really cool when you're using the f skill Look, if I turn it off and then I turn it on, it literally makes your character glow in the dark. Boom. <laughs> See how that looks? It's so amazing. But anyways, we are gonna try to fight Mirko with this uh, cremation quirk because why not? Look how that looks. Why is it color red and white? That looks so goofy, oh my god. <laughs> I'm not that confident that we can beat her with this quirk since this quirk actually uh, lacks a ton of range skills and it also does only a decent amount of damage not like burst type of damage that's why oh my god oh my god that hurts oh my god I'm gonna die I need to heal why is my color different I have pink and I, oh, I have oh my god I died <laughs> Let's try it again. Let's try to defeat Mirko with this. Look, there's even sound effects when you're using the F skill. When your F skill is turned on. I even want to cosplay Dobby. But I don't even have enough Robux. Oh my god, I used the V skill again. It's already muscle memory because of all those legendary quirks that I used. Good thing I caught her with that. Uh, she's already low health. So I think I'm going to use this one since this one has uh, burst damage. Alright, we didn't kill her with that one yet. Use the QC. Alright, there we go. We defeated her already. Oh my god. I don't want to fight her anymore. It's actually really difficult to fight Mirko with cremation. But it's alright. Not all people wants to fight 
Mirko with uh, Kermesha. I just really wanted to try because this is my main quirk or like this is one of my uh, favorite quirks. Hopefully after this video, a lot of people would start using Cremation because, because this quirk literally deserves more clout than, you know, some other uh, rare quirks or even legendary quirks. Because, you know, people tend to uh, get legendary quirks if, even though they're low level and it's actually not advisable for low levels to get legendary quirks because you won't unlock the full potential of the legendary quirk. So I recommend if you're below level 1000, try to get Cremation, I guess, or even Shock Absorption or even Voice or anything that is really good for farming. I recommend Hellflame actually and Warp Gate for that one. Or get any uh, continuous damage quirks such as Cremation, I guess, or Voice. You can go to the gym and boom. But yeah, hopefully after this video, a lot of people will recognize this amazing quirk, this underrated quirk, my favorite quirk out of them all, Cremation. But yeah, that's going to be it. Let me know down below what you guys think about Cremation and what and what are your experiences if, you, if you've already used Cremation before. Let me know down below in the comments because I would love to hear them because I would love to know about them. But yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you haven't already and please do consider subscribing because I'm gonna be uploading a lot more in the future. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy and peace out.